I'm Roger, inventor of the chicken spinner. Today we're going to go over a few items and ideas about how to insert and use the chicken spinner. Uh, we have a variety of seasonal fruits and veg that we picked up from the local store. Um, when you receive your chicken spinner, uh, the idea is that you need to take care in inserting these items onto the chicken spinner or the rod. First of all, you want to go ahead and unscrew the uh, galvanized rod from the cap selecting the item that you want to go ahead and try with your chickens first. My girls like cantaloupe, so we're going to give this one a roll first. Take the rod and placing it at the bottom, you want to go ahead and rotate and pushing slightly, taking care to make sure that you keep the food item away from your body when you push through the final end. And also make sure you don't cover your hand over where the rod is going to exit. So again, the, the twist and push, and you'll see it come through. Then you want to go ahead and attach the cap back to the rod just simply by screwing that onto the top of the rod. Make sure it's firm and then at that point you can go ahead and hang it with your choice of either using chain or rope. Uh, that way you can adjust the height to the chicken as opposed to having the chicken stretch its neck and become an ostrich. So with that in mind this is one idea and again you don't have to actually suspend it from um, the top of your coop using a shepherd's crook you can go ahead and use these and again that allows you to select the right height for your chickens so we're going to go through a couple of other items just to give you an idea of how to do this so other items you can use pears and apples again seasonal in some areas take in the chicken spinner again taking care that when you insert it through the fruit that you go ahead and rotate and again hold it away from your body until the item comes through. You can do a variety of different things on one one spinner you don't and not limited it's really whatever your imagination comes up to. And again rotate and then being careful that you do not push that to your body. Taking the cap, insert it, rotate. Something that you always want to be mindful of is that you will get these stickers. And take those off. Obviously, not very digestible for the chicken. And this also gives you then additional options associated with items that you can offer. So, with that in mind, other things that you can use, I'm also a big fan of uh, the girls here, are tomatoes. And probably the all-time favorite is the cabbage. And one thing I do want to illustrate today is the right way to do this, because the core of the cabbage is exceptionally hard. So, rotating and removing, Instead of inserting it through the hard stalk, which could be a little bit of a challenge, another option is to come through the side of the item. And again, as you can see, using a secure flat surface, you can push the item through and then just insert the top. Part of the reason for developing this was to reduce food guarding and aggression in uh, the flock that I have here. So this has effectively eliminated a lot of what used to be commonplace when I was feeding food items to these birds. The more the traditional manner of putting or broadcasting food to the floor. So there is your chicken spinner. <laughs>